Hello, hello, hello. This is Fred, your agronomist and a farmer. And uh, these are uh, some of our first trainings that we are doing after transplanting our seedlings. Uh, for those who have been sowing, uh, for direct, who have done the direct sowing, also this is very important for you because the young seedling at this point is very susceptible to different uh, living organisms. Some birds are coming to eat it, uh, some pests are coming to destroy it, even the diseases. Also, the weather is not very friendly, so you need to protect it at all costs. Now, at this uh, starting point, uh, you need to take care of the stem, the roots of the young crop, the stem, also the leaves. And for it to be able to absorb all these all these are uh, uh, product or for it to be able to get all this protection you need to do something known as drenching and today that what we will be discussing uh, what is drenching and uh, uh, why are we drenching drenching is using the chemicals or uh, the mix of chemicals that you've already uh, mixed which is a chemical to prevent against cutting insects a chemical to prevent against uh, fungal diseases like dumping off, and a chemical to prevent against stem rot. Those are the, the, the things that may disturb these young seedlings. So, after mixing them, you need to adjust your pump at the tip, at the tip of the pump. Make sure it's spoiling uh, the product or it's spoiling the chemical rather than the, 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 the steam spray where during spring. So, open the pump at the tip. Then, Come pouring, come irrigating, it's just like irrigating, but in small quantities at each and every stem of the, uh, of the plant. Because doing that, you're now protecting the young seedling from any cutting insect, from any uh, disease that may attack it from below. Because if you fail to do that, you, you are going to lose quite a good percentage of uh, this young seedling and remember all the enemies the environmental enemies the pest and the, uh, the pest are always after this so you need to protect it at all cost and for this in this case now that when we do the drenching for those who are using the drip line you can use the fatigation system or you can use the irrigation system that uh, we mix the uh, other tank then release the chemicals um, in the field and that is very simple and very easy for you but in either way that you're doing, make sure you drench and you protect the young seedling against all the cutting insect, against all the, the, the diseases so that you can have a, a good starting and have a, a, a good finishing with a healthy crop and a good production of fruit. I hope you've enjoyed the class. If you have any question, leave the question on the chat box. Like, share. Also invite other farmers to join this channel and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.